Hi, this is Sadiq Ali and I am Microsoft Integration Specialist. In this video, I am trying to demonstrate here the way we have uh, ability to communicate or connect uh, with the Snowflake using Microsoft connectors or configurations. Here you can see all this feature of uh, how Microsoft uh, is supporting uh, Snowflake and what Snowflake has capability to uh, provide the interface or can communicate with the Salesforce connector. So there are, uh, these are the very basic uh, points which I am uh, talking about right now. Um, it supports possible all database operations. You can see over here, uh, most of provide all uh, possible connectors which are based with DB operations, right? So like I, I store information staging environment which is used special in process. You can use that capability. Definitely it is not uh, uh, out of box, but you can define and you can execute uh, the approach. And uh, Snowflake has three level cache, as you know, the re result cache, local uh, disk cache, and remote disk cache. It's a kind of uh, three layer architecture uh, which uh, help them to improve their performance um, for data extraction or data insertion in the system. Um, let's go the main point which I would like to talk about here that we have three capability to communicate our new sort application with Snowflake. You can see. Um, uh, database connection you can use that uh, you can you can use the generic connection you can use data source reference uh, connection and third one is that snowflake connectors definitely definitely snowflake connector is one of the uh, optimized way to use to communicate with the uh, snowflake but we have ability to that we can use data source in in that case if any additional um, parameter need to be need to transfer or need to send in request while communicating with the snowflake um, so if we can use the data source in, in that case uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the demo part about it and uh, third uh, third option is that generic connection um, we have used a lot when uh, the snowflake connector was not available at that point of time so it was uh, quite useful and uh, along with the data source but now snowflake connector is there so we can use it and we can execute our uh, integration in snowflake let's go on uh, the application um, you can see i have created three, three flow right now um, just to demonstrate here one is that um, for snowflake connector you can see this is the snowflake connector um, it's nothing um, it's you need to configure our uh, integration uh, credentials over here and uh, it will work as expected okay you can see that um, the warehouse will uh, database and uh, schema i have created my username password and the role which i have provided to my user okay um the second thing is that um the snowpack data source you can show we can define the spring bean and uh, we can use the spring bean as a, a data source and can refer in our database connector that is the generic data center. Let me show you that uh, how it works. Um, so let me find it. You can see. Um, you can see this I am using the data source. Like definitely, uh, okay, because I am using uh, Snowflake uh, driver to communicate with the Snowflake. But yep, I just kept it with the DBC. Uh, this is the data source. Let me go and see that. Um, um, you can see I have created table resource uh, uh, bin ID. This is the going to be bin ID, and this is the database uh, source block driver, and all the property and URL I am pro providing over here based on the required to come to create the connection with the snowflake. Why it is being uh, while critical while communicating with this uh, uh, persistent environment? Uh, we have seen several organizations are for following SSO approach to communicate with any resource which is um, lying under uh, highly secure zone or DMG zone. So they they can uh, you need to provide additional parameter or certificates to communicate with the resource or the uh, persistent uh, resources. So in that case, like uh, if you see that this configuration I have, I can create um, I can pass certificate. Uh, based on that, I can provide a certificate URL, and uh, whenever I going to make connection, I I am passing other additional uh, parameter 
which is required to open the connection within the uh, uh, platform which is lying under the secure zone okay so it's it's a, a quite quite useful and um, we have uh, we have to define the bean over here so you can load in the our runtime okay you can load our runtime and then you can refer in our database source okay the third one uh, it's very known uh, I be, might be you have seen several articles about it but I just want to show you that how it can be configured um, you can see um, the snowpack URL you know the URL complete defining URL and this is the driver and uh, this is going to be um, username and password okay nothing is changed like you have you can do the same thing uh, the most important thing you have to add the driver um, which is uh, let me show you that um, this, this is the dependency definitely you can use uh, upper version which is available but I have used 18.18 .18, .18, so just for demo purpose so it is really it is quite useful uh, when you are uh, do not want to go with snowflake connector you can use the Zendi connector to communicate with the source and uh, uh, the, uh, you can use the source being uh, bean, uh, spring bean approach to configure the credentials and pass any required additional information or parameter to open connection with the application in secure zone so uh, you can see that I have uh, let me uh, stop it and let me run it um, right now just to show you that how it works uh, I will stop it and I will start it. Okay, definitely you have seen a uh, uh, snowplank connector and uh, generic connector, but how a spring beam is works here. So I am opening right now. Um, let me keep this thing over here and let me run it. You see, it's Let's get it start. Okay, it started successfully. You can see uh, it started trading the record. Let me show you that. Uh, I will do this thing. Okay, I believe see that um, you have set, uh, ID 7. Okay, because you can see here. Um, let me show you that. can see I have record grid 7 right hence you are able to see record 7 um, let me add in, insert record 11 sorry 8 um, okay, let me execute it it's done okay let me run it you can see it, it's record over here right so that's the approach uh, we, can, we have uh, with our Microsoft configurations that we can execute all these three process uh, three approach to communicate uh, with the uh, snow flag um, let me know your thought about the, uh, the video thank you so much